our seventh stop on the Microsoft 365 maintenance process is Microsoft Intune. So where Microsoft Defender Advanced Threat Protection is where we manage the security and stability of threats against our Windows computers, Intune is actually how we manage those computers for configuration and compliance settings, and not just for the Windows computers, but also our users' mobile apps and mobile devices they're using to connect into our Microsoft 365 cloud services. And just like Microsoft Defender Advanced Threat Protection, you will always have tickets coming out of your system checks in Microsoft Intune. So let's go ahead and get started in that part of the maintenance process. So to get there, it's pretty easy. We're in the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. I scroll down to the admin subportals and I go to device management. And if I click on that, that takes me to this interface right here. Now I used to go into the Azure portal where all of this stuff is actually really at, but I think the dashboard inside of Microsoft 365 Admin Center is pretty nice. So I've been using that lately. The first thing we're going to do is we're gonna go ahead and look at compliance. So we've got five errors there. So let me go into that. And now I'm looking at these computers and one of the things I do is I go in and look when they've last checked in. And for most of these, it's been a while. So the way the system works, if a computer hasn't checked in within 90 days, that's the shortest I can set it, then it's just gonna be removed from Intune. So it's just considered noise at that point. But let's go ahead and take a look at a user here as an example. So I have this computer here, I'm gonna click on it, and it has a compliance issue. I'm gonna go ahead and click on device compliance. And I'm gonna go ahead and look at this here. We got a compliance policy, and we see we've got an encryption storage issue, and we've also got a firewall issue as well. So we'd make a ticket on this particular computer, something's going on with it, I don't know what. I think it's also worth noting that if I go up here, I can also see that is active is not compliant. So this computer hasn't checked in in a while. And so that also will knock that computer out of compliance. I know this particular issue, this is a user's personal computer. They were using it temporarily connected into the system and hasn't checked in, in a while. This one's eventually just gonna be removed from the system. Our next step is to look at our device configuration. So we've got three errors there. Device configuration profiles are super important because this is the digital modern equivalent of the images we used to make to set up computers. We don't do that anymore. When a computer is enrolled inside of Intune, we push a configuration profile onto that computer that sets it up. And so if I click on this, we can see right here, I've got this particular configuration profile about endpoint protection it seems to be an issue on two computers. So I'm gonna click on this and and I'm gonna see what the errors are. I'm gonna click here, and I can see that this user has an error. I'm gonna click on this, go to their device configuration, and I see there's an encryption issue. So I'm gonna make a ticket on that for sure. Our next step then is to go down to software updates. And this is where we make sure that each one of these computers in our system is in a proper deployment ring for Windows to get its updates. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the monitor right here, we have 17 devices succeeded, no failures, I'm good with that. So our next step are client apps. Client apps are how we deploy software to our endpoints. So in our particular case, we have them for Microsoft Office and Azure Information Protection. So I'm gonna click on this because we've got two errors in there. I'm gonna scroll down and look for where those errors are at. And we've got one for Microsoft Azure Information Protection. Okay, so we got a lot of computers that are having problems with this one. So I'm gonna click on this and I can see we've got one installed and 18 failed. So in this particular case, I'm very aware of what's going on here because I'm applying a new version and for some reason it's not going out properly to the individual computers. So this needs some work, but if you keep track of this and you'd want to see the next time that you get in, maybe half the computers are deployed, all of the computers are deployed, but if you're still having problems, well then you gotta see what's going on. So in this case, I already have a ticket on this, I'm not gonna make a ticket, but this is how you would manage this. Now another one would be, I would look a little further down because there were two apps that were having problems. And I can see we have one for Microsoft Office. So for some user, there's a failure here. I would go ahead and make a ticket on that and see what's going on here. Our next stop would be app protection policies. Now I have a video on app protection policies. They're really important. This is how we allow users to bring their smartphones, their own devices, and connect into company systems. Primarily, this is gonna be things like Microsoft Outlook, Microsoft Teams, and they're going to be able to use their smartphones, download our company apps because of the subscription we've purchased for them, and then they're going to use our company apps on their smartphones to synchronize our data. Now, that's fine, and we most businesses allow that to happen, but you also wanna have control over that data 
that if you don't want company data on that person's device anymore, their personal device, that you can simply check a box, then that company data will be removed from that app. You have no control over that employee's personal device. All you're doing is using that app that employee downloaded on their phone, your company app, and managing the data and the control of that data that way. That is an app protection policy, and they're very, very important to make sure that you don't have your data synchronized in a bunch of different places and you have no control over it. So this is what an app protection policy is. And so it's really important that we have all of our users under an app protection policy. So here we see we have one Android user that is not under an app protection policy. A ticket has to be created on, on that and dealt with. Now I know who that user is. It's me right now because I'm testing out some settings. So when we have a an alert saying, well, there's a user with smartphone that does not have an app protection policy in place. That definitely means we need to make a ticket and remediate that issue. In our last check is our Microsoft Defender ATP sensor deployment setting. So let me go into that. I find that under compliance and I go down here to Windows Defender ATP, which has been renamed to Microsoft Defender Advanced Threat Protection. Through Intune is how we deploy advanced threat protection sensor to all of our endpoints. And we can see that 18 have been deployed, looking pretty good. There's three that don't. What I'm looking is to make sure that it isn't all of a sudden, that hasn't dropped down to three. Or the deployment of the Microsoft Vendor Advanced Threat Protection Sensor is not going out properly. Because going back to a couple steps back, that Microsoft Defender Advanced Threat Protection is super important. Intune is where we manage the configuration and compliance of devices and apps. But Microsoft Defender Advanced Threat Protection is where we manage the security and stability and threats against those devices. So they go hand in hand and we want to make sure that looks nice and green and stable. So just remember when you hit this step of your Microsoft 365 maintenance process, you're into Intune. You're always going to have tickets that are going to come out of this. And the first time you set it up and you get all of your computers configured so they're reporting to it, phew, you're going to be shocked how messy it's going to look. But again, just like other steps in this process, when it's new to you, don't try to conquer everything at one time. At least start getting visibility on this system and then work through it little by little. And what you're looking to do is just have less and less errors on each trip that you make through this process in Microsoft Intune. And you're going to get there. If you want to talk to us about putting Microsoft 365 inside of your company, let's talk. We're a six-time Microsoft Gold Tier 1 Cloud Solution Provider. We sell and service Microsoft Cloud subscriptions, and there's a little note there that we only service clients that we are the subscription reseller. We are a much better experience than an enterprise agreement or working with Microsoft Direct. If you're in an enterprise agreement, imagine this. You're a company with 250 employees, and you have an enterprise agreement, and you are at the very bottom rung with Microsoft. What do you think that experience is going to be like? And also you have to prepay on an annual basis for all your consumption. With a cloud solution provider model like us, you don't pay any extra and it's monthly. Add subscriptions, remove subscriptions, and it's a much better experience. Also, if you're working with Microsoft Direct, you're going to have a much better experience working with us as well. We're going to be able to guide you a lot better than just calling into the first level support with Microsoft. We also have a premier direct technical support relationship that is even higher and we spend substantially on than the general partner support and that's because we are a tier one cloud solution provider. Lastly, if you want us to get you set up and you want to take over the management, fantastic. But also if you want us to do all of the management and supporting your users with an unlimited help desk, unlimited system remediation, end user training, monthly IT management calls, and virtual CIO planning, which is what I do, you can talk to us about that too. That's our confident cloud advantage. So finally, remember this. Microsoft 365 is the most advanced system that Microsoft has ever made, but it does require maintenance. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.